These long-spined sea urchins have been munching their way across Tasmania's east coast inshore reefs, decimating abalone and rock lobster habitat. To stem the tide, a state government subsidised fishery catches the urchins for their row, but 95% of the urchin goes to waste. The idea for this project really stemmed from going and working with the commercial industry, the processes, and just seeing tonnes and tonnes of waste being dumped and being dumped at their expense. And I thought there has to be a better solution here. Agricultural scientists are using what's left of the urchin as fertiliser and testing it on sunflowers. So far, the results are promising. As you apply more fertiliser, we're seeing increased plant growth and we're also seeing that the sunflowers themselves are developing the flower heads faster than our control, uh, our control fertiliser. Broad-scale agricultural trials will start soon. We're hoping it will reduce the reliance on some of those synthetic fertilisers when producers can use more organic natural products like this. Author and gardener Hannah Maloney is keen to have this pest in her veggie patch. Those minerals are inaccessible or hard to get in some of our soils and so we need to bring them in. And if we're able to bring them in from local regions, that's the ideal. The urchins are repurposed at this new plant in southern Tasmania. Now the urchins in the machine, it's crushed and then the liquid is separated from the solids, it's heat treated, it's sterilised. 12 hours later, the powder comes out the other end. For this business, the urchin fertiliser could provide a second income. It's been a number of years getting this equipment from China during COVID, doing all our testing, um, it's, but it's been rewarding and uh, yeah, we're, we're in the, the home stretch now. Oh, my garden's looking fantastic. I've been applying it for three years now and my plants have never been happier. It's the pest you may well want on your garden. Fiona Breen, ABC News.